Hello, welcome to lesson 4, Built-in Types in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we'll understand what are the built-in types in C-Sharp. Right now, we'll move to the tables which shows us the built-in types. Here is a table of built-in type. Bull type like bool, byte, car, decimal, to leave short and the respective meanings. Here is a clear clarification of built-in types. Boolean type, true or false. Boolean data type come into existence if in an application there is need of storing a value which tells us true or false. Then we can make use of Boolean data type. For example, if there is a situation telling whether Raju is elder or younger, it is true or false. If you want to store values like this, we make use of Boolean data type. To create a boolean variable, we use boolean keyword. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio and create a boolean variable. To create a vari boolean variable, we need bool keyword, then variable, and I'll set it to true. And I'll print, the, print that in the console window. The variable is A, then I'll move out and end with the line terminator. Now I'll run the application and the output is as expected true. Boolean data type can hold only two values. It can hold only two values that is true or false. That is true or false. And if you try to store value anything other than true or false, it will throw a compile time exception. It means that in bool data type, if you try to store anything other than true or false, that is if I try to store a number, then it will throw me a compile time exception telling that cannot implicitly convert type into bool. It means that in boolean data type we can store only two values that is true or false. Right now we'll jump back into the presentation. The second type is the integral types. It consists of byte, s byte, short, int, long, char, etc. Right now we'll jump into msdn.microsoft.com to explore them. These are the integral types s byte, byte, car, int, long, u int. First, we'll see it, see with the byte. What is this byte data type? Byte data type is, it means 8 bits. It can hold up to 0 to 255 values. One byte can represent two different values. That is, one byte can represent 0 or 1. 8 bit together can represent 2 to the power of 8 distinct values. That is 0 to 255, totally 256 values. Coming to S byte, S meant sign byte, it means it can hold negative values too. That is the range is minus 128 to 127. It can hold the negative values too. Similarly, the other things, the other data types also. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio and check the maximum and the minimum value that the integer data type can hold. I'll take integer variable called a and I'll store 100 and now I have to check up with the maximum and the minimum value of what integer can hold. I'll use the console class and write line function present in it to print on the console. Now my aim is to check the maximum and the minimum value integer data that can hold. So int is having a property called minimum value which gives us the range uh, that the integer can hold, the minimum value that integer can hold, I'll use the placeholder to what is similarly I'll just copy the sentence please below it telling at the maximum value and is out this also maximum value now as usual I'll run the application by pressing Ctrl F5 the output is minimum value this value and the maximum value is this now I would like to compare this with the Your the manual maximum value and the, the range is represented here. Now we'll check out with this whether the output is as expected. Now you can check here 
the minimum value and the maximum value of that integer can hold is exactly the same as here. Now we'll jump back into the presentation. The third type is floating type, float or double. Float. If you want to store some precision values, which we can, which we can't do in the integral type, then we can go for floating type, float or double. Here are the floating types. That is float and double, and the precision float can give up to seven digits, and double it can give up to ten to sixteen digits. I'll jump into Visual Studio, and let us add this. Now float. Float a equals ten point. I would end up with this. Yes. So go out right line to print that variable in the console window. I'll run. I would like. I'll I'll run this application as the output is as expected. Represents the float value. Similarly, you can check out with the double values also. I'll jump back into presentation. Decimal types. It means that if you want to store the decimal decimal number exactly, uh, which floating types can't do, then you can go for decimal data type. And the last one is string data string types. In the in the in our first lesson, introduction to C sharp, we have printed a message called Welcome to Anfor Technologies. Uh, which is stored in a variable and the data type of it is string. In this session, we'll work out with the strings. Right now, we'll jump into demo. Here, I'll erase this. I'll take string data type and a variable which holds and pro technologies. The message is and pro technologies. Done. Now. I would like to print this on the console. I'll just pass that variable. As usual, I'll run the application by pressing Ctrl F5. The output is as expected. And pro technologies. I would like to close this window. In C sharp, strings are started with a double quote. In C sharp, the strings are started with the double quotes. Anything right between the double quotes will be considered as a string. First double quote will be the the first double quote we wrote here will be the starting point of a string. It's a starting point where we just start to write our string, and the last double quote double quote we enclose it will be the ending point of a string, which represent the end of ending of end point of a string. If you want to print including this double quotes on the command prompt window, then it is not possible using the strings. We can do it using the escape sequences, which will be continued in the next session. Please subscribe to Android Training. Thank you.